And the next section in work is going to be projects. And I touched on this a little bit before, and it's simply when you're working on a larger piece of work and you want to split it up into different projects. So if you had multiple projects for the same client and you want to separate everything and make sure each cost is allocated appropriately to each project, then this would be the perfect way to do this. And so when you're adding in your expenses, you can select which project they refer to. So let's create a project. And this is going to be, so I'm, I'm going to make a project named audiobook for Apple. This is totally random. So <laughs> I'm going to set the status as active. So if you had a different status, you can change that as well. You can put a contract number in there, project level invoice sequence. So this will create invoices based on the project you've picked and we'll keep those invoices in check with your projects. Um, but it's not really necessary, so the easiest way is just to leave it unticked and your invoices will just go up numerically as you create new ones in order of when you create them. And that's the easiest way for sure. And then we've got the currency. We've got a budget, leave as zero if the project doesn't have a budget. And how many hours you're looking at working per day and also the normal billing rate. So I'm gonna put 50 pounds there. and. Here we've got these other options. So is employment under IR35? This is where you fall inside of IR35 and you need to receive deemed payments. This is how you would separate those invoices from the invoices that are actually outside of IR35. So if you need that option, it is here. But for most people, we don't need this option. And start and end date, you can fill this out if your project does have a start and end date. Mine particularly does not have those, so I'm just gonna create a new project. Okay, and here we go. We've got a project that's been created. It's called audiobook and it, the contact is Apple. And we've got nothing invoiced yet and nothing to be invoiced and no budget. So this is kind of what it looks like when you first create the project. Now what happens is let's go back to my invoices and change my second invoice. Just gonna click edit because I never sent this one so I can still edit it. I'm gonna change it to the project of audiobook. Now I have a few different options here when I actually select a project. So this is include unbilled items, choose how to include any time slips, expenses, or estimates that you haven't yet billed for. And here you go, you can select how those are added in, but by default, these are selected to not include these things yet because you can actually manually create the expenses to be added onto your invoice rather than pulling them through, but you can include each expense on a separate line if they're to do with this particular project. I will show you how to select this when we actually look at the expenses section. So estimates include only open or approved estimates and you can select them here. Um, I would say most people don't use these so there's no need to change those default options. All this other information will be the same because all I've done is select project. So I'm gonna save changes and now what we can see here is if we go back to work projects, let me mark this as sent before I do that. So if we go back to work invoices, when it's been allocated to a project, it'll have it listed here right next to the contact. So it's literally contact and project. And that's how you can tell whether it's a separate thing or it's a different invoice, whatever. If we go back to the project section, you'll be able to see here invoiced is 250 pounds net. So you can see that it's been listed as a project. And when we actually click into the project, there will be this profitability section here and it'll count how much you've invoiced, how many expenses have been associated with this project, and then the total profit left over. And this is a good way if you're working on more difficult projects to see how well they're doing and how much you're spending versus the amount you're earning. Don't beat yourself up if you're not gonna use this because it's only, it's very circumstantial, like I said. When you're actually in the project area, you'll have these options here as well. So for example, estimates. There are no estimates related to this project. You can add an estimate. They'll have these quick links everywhere where it'll make stuff really easy for you. Same with invoices. You can see the first invoices relating to the, this project. And you can, of course, add a new invoice. You've got tasks. There's no tasks relating, you could add a task. So this is very much managing things 
This is the management section and you've got the time slips here. So if you needed to add time slips, you can do that. Expenses. So no, no expenses relating to this project just yet. You can add an expense and also notes. But yeah, essentially, if you ever get stuck, you can actually click into the project and just create each thing that you need to make for it. But I'll show you the best way to actually do, for example, expenses and stuff 